Good night, friends and classmates, and Mr. Zimmer. I would like to talk about how can a community garden help feed the world, or at least the community. Uh, for being able to feed the world, it has to be several uh, community gardens, so it can work, and it would be about three to four community gardens in each place. So that would be uh, better and easier to feed the world. But community gardens has been connecting people through growing food, where families can grow food for themselves and their neighbors. Uh, for example, uh, these community gardens, uh, they help friends and families uh, develop a new friendship and skills. Gardening not only provides uh, fresh food, but it also provides nutritious food. It allows physical activity and mental relaxation. Uh, community gardens helps you uh, have a different view uh, what's around you and like it says it can relax you and it can help you mentally and emotionally um, for example in my house uh, my parents don't have a vegetable garden um, I don't think we have enough land to do that but we do have uh, several trees which they produce different kinds of um, fruits. What we do with those fruits is share it with our friends and neighbors and family. We have mangoes, uh, we have some banana tree, and we have also this little fruit uh, which we call manzanita. We have coconuts, we have several kinds of fruit and we all like to share it with our friends and family. Um, in the future, I see myself having a nice garden, not just a vegetable garden, but I would love, I would love to have a, a flower garden with several types of flowers and very colorful. Uh, and especially I would love to have um, several trees with fruits so I can continue doing what my parents have been doing uh, for several years to be able to give others not just have it for yourself but to help other people thank you